Let me show you one of the absolute favorite things I make to give as gifts. It's a notebook with little paperclip bookmarks. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. If you didn't know, and if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so we're going to start with these Staples um, full sheet shipping labels. They have true blockout. I print two of this pattern and then I have two regular ones. I have a composition notebook I bought from hmm, Walmart, I think, and I just trim the edges off of our print. Then we're going to attach it to our notebook. Um, just so you know, the notebook, not the notebook, <laughs> the printout, I, I actually purchased it on Etsy. So what I do is I just use the back of a ruler just to kind of, as I pull the backer off, it kind of smooths it down. And then I use my brayer just to make sure that there are no um, lumps or bumps or air bubbles. And then I flip it over and I pull in each corner and adhere it to the, no the notebook and itself. And then now we've got these little flaps and all I'm gonna do is fold it in and stick it to the inside. Look at, it works like a dream. It's awesome. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well, both edges. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the back with the same print, we're gonna same song, second verse on the back, okay? Okay, and it, look it, stop it. Look at how pretty this is. Are you kidding me? It's adorable. All right, so next, the inside is nine and a half inches long by seven and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna take two of those shipping labels and cut them down. And I use, I did the edges, I rounded the edges because I make, think it looks nice. Um, and then I'm just gonna attach it to the, the inside cover. And I'm gonna do the same process with my ruler that I did on the front, just to adhere it, make sure there's no lumps or bumps. Same thing with my brayer. And I do the same thing on the other side. And that's the notebook. You could do this with any pattern. I make the pattern in Canva and it's easy peasy. All right, so now let me show you how I make my paperclip bookmarks. I take five little paper clips. These are from Dollar Tree and I make my own little cards, but you could totally do, you could, you could make some easy peasy. Um, so I have some ribbon, again from Dollar Tree, and I cut it to five inches. Now I'm gonna take it and fold it in half and then take your paper clip and put your tails to that ribbon in and then through that loop you're going to pull your tails through just droop, and now you're just going to snug it up easy peasy some people will um, burn the ends of the ribbon just so they don't fray um, i just trim it and let it be that's all i do but if you want to do that that's an extra step as i mentioned you could use blank index cards for this you could cut down um, regular paper to four by six but all i'm going to do is just use my ruler and an exacto knife and just cut a line down the center and that is what we're going to add our little paper clip bookmarks to and stop it you could put little you could stamp little messages on it you could print them i mean stop look at how cute these are i love them so much and let me just show you okay first of all the set adorable but let me show you how you use them so and it's it's not a rocket science here <laughs> But look at how cute it works like a dream. I love it. And this would make such a great gift. I mean, stop. Woo, so pretty. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.